happen. We're dealing with the government, and it's not exactly sensitive to the wishes of the people. Right? But what we can do is present those arguments to the people with aggression. They've taken, they've taken even our computers and their state members and their computers removed. They've done everything to try and silence us. Well, we're not going to be silenced. And in the next election, you will be brought to account for what you have done to the people in those high rises over there and what you intend to do to the people of Australia, well, not the Gold Coast, the people of Australia on that broad border. I don't live at the Gold Coast, although we had a house here for 60 years or something. But, but I don't live here. But I consider that that broad water is not only owned by the people of Gold Coast, but all the people of Australia. This is the great tourist resort and destination of this country. There are other great tourist destinations. I'd like to think of North Queensland. The beaches that are owned by Australia, ocean frequency, and we get more privatised No, what we're saying is, and, and Keith, um, you might like to reiterate. Well, the proposed move forward is a climate offshore, so what it's going to be is um, the biggest artificial reef on the Gold Coast. The opportunity to invest in electric rights breaks the surfing rights, uh, and it's uh, tourism infrastructure that we can all do it. So uh, we're after a win-win for everybody, no, no negative environmental impacts. Yeah, but no loss of beach. Please, we must make that clear, that we are saying no loss of beach. That's why we're standing here and having you people stand in the hot sun, because we're, we want to make it perfectly clear that they are not taking, I mean, they're going to sell all the people's resources you know, the railways, the hospitals, the schools, they're going to be selling that too. But we want to know, that we want everybody to know that we are tenaciously opposed. The Crown does not own these assets. The people own them, and the Crown has no right to be taking them off us. I make that position perfectly clear. For, for the beaches, absolutely. This is one of the great recreational facilities that are available to all Australians. And I profoundly believe, even as a North Queenslander, where we can beat against you for the tourist dollar, but I profoundly believe that that should happen. Now also we want to make an announcement um, on the diving. The, um, in terms of the funding, I mean, um, we've seen arguments between the Mayor and the State Government on, on funding. No, 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 no. No, sorry, Keith, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm going to catch you. No, no, I just want to say that we are backing that there are funds put into this. And I'm talking about the diving. That's right. That's the best funds. We, the Cutters Australia Party, has taken policy on that we should uh, arrange, lobby, for and fund uh, two military boats off the Gold Coast. Uh, we believe the dive industry is something that uh, has great potential on the coast. You need to invest in it. There should be a consideration for a portion of the GST revenue that tourists bring here. And if I put a figure out there of say 10% of 10%, we're talking probably about $35 million a year that would help uh, fund the beaches program and provide the artificial reefs and the electric drive to drive diving to tourism. So we're, we're not just looking at good ideas, we're looking at the method of doing it, and that money will remain. So. And provide our fishies and, and all of our marine life with a very agreeable habitat has occurred elsewhere. Well, do they get on some of the parts of the hospital? Oh, well, yeah, look, everyone knows that Kevin and I are very friendly and my great respect for everyone to Kevin. Uh, and uh, um, I don't want to be commenting upon the leadership of another party. Um, I think that would be improper behaviour on my part, but I think everybody knows that we're good friends and uh, um, at the events of last week. You see, a friend get hurt, well, that doesn't make you happy. Does it? Um, you know, I never, um, we'll put about 20 points, I think is probably all of them. And, uh, and uh, we're not interested, you know, we're sick and tired of everybody seeing this in terms of left and right. We had a chance to do something about protecting your journalists in the media last week. We had a chance of giving you people some protection which you richly deserve. And because the Liberals wanted a victory, because the Labor Party wanted a victory, we got nothing out of it. There was no putting forward of the people's interest at any stage. I mean, clearly there needs to be a watchdog. Clearly that watchdog needs to be appointed by an objective group of people, not the government. 
A government watchdog is of its very essence an oxymoron, a contradiction in terms. You know, a government watchdog is a contradiction in terms. That was what the ALP and the other mob were proposing, a corporate lapdog, we continue with a corporate lapdog. Classic example, please, we don't have to do this. We don't have to give our resources away to some foreign billionaires, as is proposed in the broad border. We don't have to do this as Australians. Please listen to us. You don't have to keep voting for the ALP LNP corporation that runs Australia. I mean, it's not a matter of changing the board members of the ALP LNP corporation. It is a matter of offering the people uh, an alternative that you do not have to sell this nation's assets day after day, week after week, and import workers into here to take our jobs off us as well, which yeah, of course is happening the under the Labor Party. Well, we but Ian off. Banks is going to have something to here or no? Yep. Ian, would you like to just, we just want to round off this discussion. I guess on the boats just to finish off with, um, we keep hearing the excuses from both Labor and Liberal governments excessively that they can't provide us boats or they, or they want to scrap them and take the money. But the reality is that uh, if we can't get a boat in Australia, we'll go to the US. And we, we believe that, that uh, a battleship or something similar that's had a link to the Korean or Vietnam War would make a great uh, friendship alliance symbol on, ongoing and representing the enduring alliance between the US and Australia. So that's something we intend lobbying for and hopefully we can achieve it. We have done some research, there are boats available and we'll have more to say about it. Thank you. Absolutely. We've already, I think, we were discussing 70 this afternoon. Um, there's already you know, applications for 70 seats in Australia. But uh, over the next two or three months, uh, on the state experience, we'll get candidates uh, in almost every seat in Australia. Um, we've been down in Victoria, where the party's going like a house on fire. And, uh, I mean, all the intelligent commentators are giving us between four and five senators. And it would be well known that Madigan and I and Xenophon form a very, very strong alliance, always. Um, and uh, that will give us six or seven senators that should give us the balance of power in the Senate. And I can tell you we'll be using that with ruthless brutality to stop the Liberals from selling off their country and bringing workers in to take our jobs out from under us. And I might add that the Liberals were nowhere near as bad as the ALP. Um, the, the Prime Minister, in a piece of arch hypocrisy, attacked the Liberals. The Liberals were bringing 38,000 a year in. Hey, Julia, you bought 125,000 in last year. They are taking the jobs in the mine, the dump truck jobs, where we get paid $100,000. And I can assure you the 457s are not getting paid $100,000. They're undermining our paying conditions. This is a nice, sneaky way of deregulating the labour market. The ALP has been the leaders in it to their eternal shame and damnation. But I'll bet the Liberals will double that figure when they get in. They'll make up for lost time. So it's time to um, you can have a look at the state figures, you know, we the Greens vote. And uh, a lot of people are so disgusted with the mainstream parties that they don't even vote for the Greens. But you know, when they have a genuine alternative that wasn't in the to the big corporations, then the Australian people, you know, uh, went in that direction. I mean, if we'd been allowed to use our name, the polling said we were 20%, which would put us pretty close to getting two senators up in Queensland. And, uh, and hence, fairly venomous attacks coming upon us from the LNP. Ian over to you. I really want Ian to have the same thing, please. We won't hold you much longer, but please. I'll just return from visiting Australia. Let's speak to you in the Next month, I'm going to be able to say the same. I'll be able to say the same. I'll be able to say the same. I'll be able to say the same. Very special. Thank you.